Hello everyone, this is going to be a quick overview of what this asset does. So the whole point of this is to quickly add um, to your existing projects or quickly build up your uh, new projects. So if I go here, right click, um, you'll see uh, a bunch of different things. So I'll start with a demonstration uh, of main menu, for example. So for now, I'll just turn these off as I'll reuse this scene. Um, but basically, if I press play now, um, I've got a, uh, a fully functional uh, main menu um, set up. So, you know, uh, change this to your liking. That's the whole point here. Um, so we've got a couple of custom scripts for the options. So visuals, uh, video. Um, obviously, this is all set for, um, for URP. Keep that in mind. Um, so we've got a uh, continue and load button that only work if there's a save game. In my case, existing project, there is a save game. Um, if I do new, um, you'll get difficulty settings, which are actually tied to, to uh, global variables, so they'll actually have an impact. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. Um, and uh, yeah, let's select something, um, type in your name, which again also gets stored in a global variable. Now, if I press confirm, normally it would try to load the scene, but in this case, we just dropped in this prefab. Uh, there's nothing set yet. There's no scenes added to build settings. Um, so it wouldn't do much. So let's get out here. So first of all, um, and that's general unity has nothing to do with this asset or game creator. You need to add scenes to your build settings. Otherwise you can't load them. Um, next up um, in here, um, this is where you type in. So I made it pretty clear. Um, this is where you type in the scene name um, that you added to the build settings. So it can load that. So yeah, pretty simple and pretty cool. Um, so let's get rid of that. Um, I'll be reusing the same scene to demonstrate some other things. Um, so plane, um, 100, 100. So we need something to stand on, of course. Um, I'm actually going to uh, keep the main camera, um, but I'm going to remove the directional light because we'll be adding our own. Um, reason for that is that it already has the um, perception uh, component of that attached to it. Um, so it just makes, uh, makes a lot of sense. Also did a couple of settings here, um, which actually make the shadows just look more normal. I'm not saying better, just more normal. Um, then um, let's, uh, let's add our player, of course. So first off, now the player is packed with a bunch of stuff. So, um, you know, inventory, uh, combat, a bunch of stuff, um, which I'll demonstrate in a bit. Um, then let's add our um, camera shot as well. There we go, shot uh, third. So I have a top down in there as well. Um, to be fair, most of these examples are all set up with the third person in mind. It won't be perfect with top down, especially with shooter as for shooters, you need to set up your weapons a bit differently um, for it to work uh, with different angles. Um, so just something to keep in mind. It's more of an uh, example. Um, then uh, let's add a, a global volume here. Um, there we go. Um, has a bunch of the settings that match the, uh, the menu settings. Um, then um, let's add to what else can we add? Um, UI, little fade in, always looks nice. I'm going to hide that in the scene though. Um, then of course we need a, uh, a HUD. So let's add a HUD. Um, we need a indicator as well. Uh, no, not game creator. We need a indicator. Perfect, that's for perception. Um, what else? Well, you don't need anything else, but <laughs> what are we going to use here? Um, um, I'll show these in a bit, but basically these are from basic interactions, uh, but redone uh, completely. Uh, so we can actually do the emote uh, wheel for now. Um, and I'll show the rest uh, in a bit. Um, then let's add something uh, cool. So we'll add a, uh, an enemy for now. Uh, Archer, there we go. Um, let's uh, put him away a bit so we, uh, he can't see us straight away. Um, we also have the um, enemy manager, um, which um, basically um, manages states. So it's uh, 
works as a group behavior basically um, and yeah that's that's pretty much it for now I think I think we're pretty good here I don't think I forgot anything essential um, except for a couple of things actually so first of all um, and it, it, there's something weird with how unity handles prefabs um, I need to manually add an event system if I would have just added a normal canvas like this it would do that automatically for some reason it doesn't do it with prefabs don't know why um, and game creator same thing so if I add a camera here um, now suddenly we have this option um, if I if you just add a prefab like we did here um, it won't do that not sure why it's it's a prefab related thing anyway um, so yeah that's uh, that's pretty much it so let's uh, let's save let's go into our play mode nice little fade in um, of course <laughs> Um, I forgot that uh, for some reason this is not toggled on by default in URP. I really hope it is in Unity 6. I didn't check yet um, as I only check LTS versions, but it's just weird. Like, come on, <laughs> why is that not turned on? Anyway, so here we have a custom script that does the cycles through the powers um, and the active abilities uh, basically, well, you cycle through them. With F, you use them. So. Um, I added some conditions to them as well, just so you can set them. So right now this does nothing and it only works if we actually have a sword equipped. And if I press F, it uses the ability. Then same thing for the arrow. So if I tap uh, tab, I switch to the bow in the right down corner. I equip the bow and then I can use the bow ability. Cool. I can also, of course, just use the bow. Not gonna hit him because I want to avoid contact for now, and there we go. Um, so yeah, when it comes to the uh, oh, when it comes to the enemy, of course he'll use perception, so he'll spot me, he'll see me, and then he's using the shooter module to uh, shoot at me. So I'll just finish him off. That was just to demonstrate. Okay, it works, um, and of course, like you know, well that's the rectal of game creator going crazy. Cool. I'll, I'll try to see if I can do something about that. That's a bit nuts. But yeah, that's uh, that's basically it. Now, the whole point of the enemy manager, of course, is that it handles group behavior. Um, I've done several videos about it already because uh, it was also in uh, Easy Template Kit. Um, I just expanded a bit with conditions um, to make sure that it works properly with perception. So there's a condition here that it only really starts getting into action once there's uh, perception is active. So cool, that's uh, the basics for the enemies for now. I'll just leave that out. Um, if we then go to, um, for example, um, well, let's do gather. There we go, so gather. So we can gather some stuff. I'll grab uh, some props as well. So flower that has the growth script. So it will actually grow, there we go. Um, what else we can use here? I'll put in a uh, breakable as well, just so you see how that works. Again, it's a custom script. There we go. Um, oh yeah, still need to use the emote wheel as well. Uh, save point, we can use a save point. We can use a, a checkpoint just to show you the difference. And of course, checkpoints, you can expand them to the size you want them to be, or even the shape, different colliders, um, whatever you want, really. Um, let's add a um, vendor. There we go. Perfect. Um, when it comes to the enemies in general, uh, again, I've already shown these different types in different videos about Easy Template Kit. And we've got a soldier, a specialist, and a brute. So three different arch types. So the soldier, sword and shield, the specialist uses dual wield and the brute uses unblockable attacks, um, which I'll show as well actually, which is quite cool. So okay. I'll put him a bit further at 20. So I can actually uh, have some peace and quiet and I'll show how that works. Um, because the brute is also using, um, all of them actually have the script, um, is using 
there we go the new change material so um, just using instructions if you actually want to change the material property that is on the entire character so weapons body etc um, just the game creator instructions do it per groups uh, it doesn't really work that well um, and there's a custom in uh, instruction for this as well um, so of course need the enemy uh, um, where am I I need the enemy manager again so I'll put that in the radius because as you can see it picks up every enemy within a 10 radius so it needs to be around and then um, we can add well we've got the fishing we've got a lot of things from basic interactions but let's just add a uh, chest just for the sake of it and a chest as well there we go so a bunch of different things let's also add the villager actually and then <laughs> that'll be it that's enough for now so the civilian civilian i added more for fun um it doesn't actually do that much because obviously if you don't give it tasks to do like it won't do much um but yeah i just added that for fun so there we go let's uh let's try this all out um, and yeah, before we get into that, let's go to the, the menu here as well. So we've got, um, oh, of course, completely forgot. Um, let's add um, the inventory character. So that gets dropped below the map here. So that is the character you will see in the menu. Um, and basically that, um, yeah, that will be visible. So let me just demonstrate. Cool, so we've got a, a couple of different things here, so let's try it out. So um, let's try to gather first. So basically we gather, and then if we do it fast, those notifications stack as well, by the way. And then, you know, if we deplete it, it's depleted. Um, we've got the breakable, and uh, let's actually use our bow and arrow for this. There we go. So that's a breakable sh uh, script. I'll show you that in a bit as well. So this is a, uh, a simple, um, you know, just open a chest and then well, whatever happens, you can make happen. Um, this is the flower that grows over time. If I stand next to it, you'll literally see it grow over time and you can interact with it as well once it's fully grown. So again, nice custom script. Um, here we have the, the shop. Hi, how can I help you? Okay, then, you know, sell, etc. Cool, so we got all that. I think if I walk back from about here, we have the checkpoint somewhere. Yeah, checkpoint reached. And then this is a save and then save game. And it saves the game. Then if I, uh, oh, <laughs> actually let's, uh, let's do this. Um, if I get close to the enemy, then again, now he'll start, um, you know, attacking me brutally and then you see him glow right now that's the unstoppable attacks and okay well he does a lot of damage anyway and then yeah the unstoppable attacks are a bit harder to block and he's gonna kill me actually if i don't watch out okay <laughs> i killed him just on time anyway so yeah that that's uh that's the uh, the brute so as you can see nice some unblockable attacks that do uh that do more damage so make him uh, a lot more threatening than the regular one and then this one the civilian um, I didn't really know what to do with a civilian because you know if you don't give specific tasks there's not much he can do so of course if you add the um, the markers he'll walk a route but that's pretty much it same for all of the other enemies um, but just for fun I added that if you uh, oh, if you actually hit him then he'll just run away <laughs> And that's all he does. He doesn't really do anything else. Um, but I thought it was fun. At least he'll run away, and at least that's something. Um, so yeah, that was pretty funny. Um, but yeah, that's a, that's a lot of the basics here, and, and that's kind of the whole concept. Um, oh, and let me quickly show the the in um, the in game menu as well, by the way, because I didn't actually show that. Um, so we've got the in game menu as well. So um, we've got the. Um, uh, inventory so primary secondary um, hotbar 
um, we've got uh, abilities um, this uses a custom script as well for the more passive abilities um, which normally it still uses inventory just inspect how it works um, but it uses a custom script for the whole unlocking uses ability points which is just a variable and you can reset everything that is unlocked as well so if I unlock all of these for example um, and they can add conditions so for example I unlocked I clicked on this one first but I didn't unlock level one then defense level two won't work either um, and if it then resets I get my points back and all of them are locked again and because it uses inventory it's a simple equip unequip um, so you can simply set like if it equips then health goes up or whatever if it unequips health goes down so it's a really simple way to uh, do things but yet just normal inventory just didn't completely do it for me um, so a custom script allows you to uh, to easily set this um, really cool so yeah have a look at that um, then of course we've got quests um, and we've got um, save load and we've got uh, all of our options again so yeah um, pretty pretty complete um, and yeah that, that's the whole idea so it's it's something you can easily add to existing projects easily set up new projects um, and you don't have to worry if you accidentally delete something but it's also uh, contrary to um, easy template kit for example it's also not something that will just um, only work if you really do a new project this is something you can easily add to uh, to something that is uh, existing so yeah I thought it was really cool um, and yeah that's uh, that's a quick overview so thanks for watching everyone